Hey guys, I want to share with you something that I received. And first when I received this, I said, how am I going to make this work for me and my lifestyle? And then I realized, you know, it's just, it's that time of year and camping is coming, beach is coming. And oftentimes when I'm camping or I'm at the beach, I might stick a hat on, I might stick all my hair up. And sometimes, you know, it, it you know, looks a little bit, I don't know weird or uh, not weird but it doesn't like sometimes it just doesn't look maybe as dressy as I would like it to look so I have been really intrigued by these halos I've seen a number of women actually review them because they have a number of hats <laughs> I've seen a number of women actually review them and I thought to myself wow I wonder how that would look on me and so I got two halos in from Henry Magoo, and they I had got the short one, and this is in 14H, and the short one looks like this. So when so the the premise is behind this is that there are going to be there's going to be certain times when. You want a little bit of hair showing in a hat. You want to look more pulled together. And these are designed to wear under either a bandana or a turban, a hat of some sorts, a straw hat or a ball cap. You do have to be careful with the ball caps because they're open in the back. And so you need to make sure you have this either high enough or you wear a different type of a hat that doesn't have quite a big hole like this one has quite the big opening. So you would put this on and there's these little, there's three little rubber sections right here that would go against your forehead so that you could make sure that it wasn't going to slip with the hat on. So I'm going to put this on and I'm going to put my hats on and I'm going to show you what the shorter one looks like. I also have the longer one, the longer one, and the longer one is really, really that's my cup of tea. That's my cup of tea. And I'm really excited because Jay and I are going camping. And we have the motorhome. We just brought the motorhome in for its checkup. And it's clear sailing. It looks up. Uh, everything is fine. We have it registered. We have it insured. We're ready to hit the beach. And these are going to come with me. Because I'm going to be, you know, wearing a hat. And then at night we might want to walk the strip. And we might also want to go out to maybe, even though it's casual dinner. But sometimes, you know, when you take your hat off. If you've been in the sun or outside and the wind or riding your bike. And you take your hat off. What's underneath your hair isn't all that great. So maybe you want to wear what's underneath your hat isn't all that great. It's usually flat, icky hair. So I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to come back on camera and I'm going to show you with my hats. So you can see with the shorter one, my hair is longer than the cap hair, you know, than the hat, than the uh, shorter halo. So I have a hard time in a cap putting, I have a high time putting all my hair up on top of, or underneath the cap. So it looks better to me with this look. This is the look I would wear this with. And you just have enough hair coming out. And I know I probably have some of my own hair. But you just have enough hair coming out that you have a little bit of hair showing. And you could be walking the beach and feeling pretty, pretty snazzy. <laughs> so... This would be the look I would really like this. Um, and I would wear this look with the straw hat. What do you think? So I just have, I mean, I basically have a bunch of straw hats. I mean, most of them are in the motorhome. I mean, a bunch of really big ones. And I think I have like my four or five straw hats out in, the, out in the motorhome. And this one is here because this one I took on a trip with me. And then I have all my ball caps. So I'm not really too sure how this is looking. But this is what it looks like. Okay. So I took it off and I took the halo out. And again, my hair is, is you know, up on a little, little uh, ponytail on top of my head. But here you've got the back of the halo. Here you've got the front, which would be your bangs, where the forehead little grips are so it doesn't slide. And then the back. And again, how tight you pull it, how high you pull it up will depend on whether or not it's going to come out through your ponytail. 
you know, your little holder here, um, your little opening in the back of the hat. But this is the shorter Henry Margu, and this is their Halo in 14H. This is a perfect color for me for the blonde. A lot of my, um, my wigs that I've gotten from Henry Margu have been in this shade, and it seems to be a really good shade for me. So I really like that. That is the shorter one. I'm going to show you the long one now. So you can see what it looks like. Here's the long one. Right, same concept. Bangs, long hair, and I'm going and it has the same sort of grip on the forehead so that you can put it on and it won't slip. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on and then come back and show you how it looks. So you can see why I probably like the longer one, or even if there was one that was mid-length um, between the short and this that I think would look really good. So this is in 14H. And I'm going to turn. Now with this one, if you got something that would really match the color of your hair better than mine, because my hair is a little darker than this, then you would never see this. But because this is lighter than mine, I'm going to show you what the back looks like with the ball cap. So you can see right here. So I could pull some of this hair up and I could pull it out of here if I wanted. And it would have a different look. But that's the ball cap. Now I'm going to show you the straw hat. Yeah, this is more my look. This is more me. And this I really like. So I think this is going to come with me camping in two weeks along with my straw hat and I think when I walk the beach or go out with Jay at night I'm going to give this a try and see how I feel. I'm going to turn around and show you. So the straw hat obviously covers everything in the back. You could pull this into a, you know, you could do a braid, you could pull it in, into a little pony. You could do a whole lot with this piece because this one is long enough. And now I'm going to show you a couple of other ball cap looks. Now, this does have some heavy-duty bang action, so for me, I don't have the bangs like that, so I'm always pushing the bangs away. But this, I really do like this look a lot. Now, I would really like the ones, they have some I've seen, the ones that have the ball cap with the hair actually sewn in. That, I think, would be a really great option, especially for, you know, if you're out and about and the wind's blowing. Again, I've got the space here, but I think the ball caps with the with the hair piece sewn into it don't have that opening in the back. My tie-dyed look. I wish the weather was better. I could take you outside, but we are in the middle of, like, rain, nasty stuff out there. So, so that's what these... these that's what these halos look like. I think they're really, really kind of a great option. Especially, like I said, if you've been out bike riding or you've been at the beach or you've been somewhere all day and you just have really, your hair isn't up to snuff. And you don't want to put a wig on because you're going to have a difficult time with a wig with a ball cap. But the halo being sort of a half, you know, just a halo around your head like that works perfectly because you can wear your hat, your straw hat, have some hair, and just look put together. What do you think? Again, this is the issue for me with the types of hats I wear. So I would have to be doing the straw hat routine with this. So I wanted to share these with you just as a different option. And this one is a little bit shiny. So I would probably spray a little bit of my dry shampoo on this. I've got several different bottles of dry shampoo. My favorite is the Batiste. I've got the... Brilliant Blonde and the Beautiful Brunette. So if I wanted to darken this a little bit, I would use the Brunette and it would just give it a little tiny bit of a darker color. It will just would just take it out. If I have a darker wig and I want to you know, give it a little bit more of a Brilliant Blonde look, I'd be using this. They also have um, these without any, any uh, tint at all. So that's always a great option. So just wanted to share this with you guys so you could see what this looks like. And I know you've probably seen a number of other people, but it's my turn. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Oh, I will leave uh, a couple of links below of different uh, wig stores that actually carry these halos for you. 
I'm not being sponsored or paid in any way or nor do I get anything if you follow any of the links. This is just me sharing these products with you. I did receive them complimentary and just to show you so you can see a different option for hair as we enter into the summer spring spring summer season and even into fall I think you know when you're out and about and you've got the hats on I mean I could see going to the store throwing a hat on so hey guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video I'm going to have a little bit of a surprise giveaway now to be in consideration for this you have to be subscribed to the channel you have to make sure that you like this video and you have to say the words, I want to try the halo. I want the halo. So this is the halo piece that I demonstrated. This is the short one. I have only worn it for the purposes of the demonstration. This is in the 14H. This is the blonde color. And it has never been worn. Still in all the original packaging, label, box everything looked it up but this is the halo in 14h so i'm going to run this as a giveaway make sure you say to me in the comments below i want to try the halo i want the halo if you don't mention that you want the halo and your name gets picked i'm going to discard it because not everyone is going to watch to the very end so if you want this let me know in the comments below Make sure you say you want the halo, and then if your name gets randomly picked, I will send it to you. How's that sound? Thank you all so much. Oh, and on my head is Hayden. This is also a Henry Mugger wig. This is Hayden, and this is the beachy waves look, and I had, in one of my previous videos, I had talked about washing it, and I had shown clips of it. So this is how it looks. It's a very relaxed look, very casual look. I've only worn it like this, but you can pin it up if you want. You can pin it back. You can put barrettes in it. There's many different ways that you can actually wear this and style it if you like. But I've just been, when I wear it, it's just this casual kind of look. So thank you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Be sure if you want the halo, you say you want the halo.